What's up, y'all? <laughs> so I want to share something with y'all today because um, I know if it's if 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 it's blessing me, it's gonna bless y'all too. So I just want to share this. Um, so anxiety has been trying to get the best of me just because of some decisions that I have to make and things that I'm going through and transitioning that is happening in my life right now. I am just like, Lord. But also, okay, so here's the thing. This is not my first rodeo of like, you know, just being in the the, the valley of decisions, okay? And, um... It's hard because I'm looking at what I have and what I don't have. And I know that's not how I should be making decisions. So I'm very aware of that this time around. And just very anxious. Anxious thoughts and hearing all of these things. And just the breath, the breath, the, the plethora of things I'm thinking about that I have to do. Because I got six kids and like just a lot of different things. And so... I'm driving, first of all, yeah, I hopped on a prayer call this morning, and then second of all, I'm just like, Lord, I mean, I feel, I was feeling the anxiety in my body, and I was like, you know what, it's anxiousness, I bind you in the name of Jesus, I renounce anxiety in the name of Jesus, because I'm, I was realizing, like, you ever be in a situation, and you're aware of the tug of, tor the tug of war in your mind, like, the, the 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 enemy over here fighting you with anxiety and then you like got the scripture over here like you know uh, -uh mm -mm, i will lean not unto my own understanding okay like over so i'm over here and then the devil is like but we always go through this and you never understand so you fall for everything the all of the traps and everything and i'm like no because god is guiding me okay no he got my back he is renewing me and transforming my mind today goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life okay his mercies are made new everyone i'm over here and i'm over here and then it's just like that's the fight that we go through every single day like and if you're not ready to fight every day who guess who gonna win the devil and anxiety and all of this stuff and oh my god i can't make decisions like literally feeling it in my body like anxious like my body is just and i'm just like wait hold on we gotta chill like even feeling like i can't think straight right and so this is why it's so important to just declare scripture so i'm just praying and i'm like lord I need you right now. I'm nothing without you. I don't, I'm not going to make decisions out of anxiety because I trust you. Your word says that you keep, you will keep me in perfect peace. I am in perfect peace because my mind is staying, stayed on you, like focused on you, like trusting in you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. That's Isaiah. It doesn't look like, it, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Like I'm trusting in you. Like and I'm telling you this, you, whoever you are, like, it doesn't matter what the situation looks like. Like, God will provide. There is provision. And he has the answers. You just have to go to him and seek him. So even as I'm driving, I just, because I didn't like how my body was feeling. My body is, was literally starting to respond to the anxiety and thinking about all of the thoughts and the decisions that I have to make, like, today. Um... And thinking about all of the things I got to get done. I'm just like, Lord, like, you know what? It wouldn't be like this if this was over here like this. And this wouldn't be like this if I had this over here. And I'm and, and it's like, who am I to even say? Because I'm like, God, he says, come to him and ask. He says, come to him and ask. Like, pray without ceasing. Like, do not worry about anything. Lay everything at his feet. So I'm just like, Lord, well, you know, I need this. Blank, blank, blank. So... I ask for favor, like among whoever, so and so, that it will work out this way. Like learning to be very specific with God about what, because look, He He holds my entire life in His hands. Like, why wouldn't I want to say, God, I need this, and this person has it over here, so I'm asking you to like just pour out favor and and just 
grace and put my name in their mind so that it will work out this way and then even with situations i'm like lord i need this over here but this is how i need it to work out this is how i need to get it and it's not being in a selfish of selfish way it's just like god i trust you as my provider as my daddy and i'm asking you for it to work out this way anyway i didn't want to say all of that but that's that's where i am but i wanted to read some of these scriptures that i've been looking over this morning because i need to make decisions right now first of all one of the scriptures that have been coming up a lot and even just being concerned not concerned but uh confirmed and brought up again through my sisters in christ um that's how i know like god sees me and he's hearing me okay because one of the scriptures are is in isaiah i believe it's 60 verse 1 and it says arise and shine for uh the glory of god is upon you y'all when i first read this scripture I, I started declaring that over myself and then I started hearing it from so many different people so many different ways through sermons like just and I'm like okay God you see me you hear me first of all then another one was in um Isaiah and I just read it again yesterday but this one says um that he will be behind me like i will hear him in my ear and he will tell me which way to go when i look to the left or to the right like he will tell me which way that i need to go that's in isaiah and then there's also um you know lord just renew me and transform my mind like be renewed by the transforming of your mind like transform me god and i asked him that in the beginning of the year i was like lord it doesn't matter what it looks like i don't care what it feels like process me all the way through transform me because in these times where i need to make decisions i don't want to lean into my own understanding i don't want to be so in my head which i was yesterday and my friend had to check me she like girl get out of your head okay and just put your eyes on him and i needed to get out of my head because when i get inside of my own head i'm i'm trying to make things work and i don't make the best decisions right so i'm i'm like lord i just let me get outside of myself let me get out of my head and what i think things will look like and what it needs to look like and fear and all of this stuff and failure and blah 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 and let me start declaring your words so this morning i began to praise and thank god first of all but i also looked up scriptures um to declare about god showing me his ways because that's what i need right now i don't need my way I need God's way. So here are some of them in this particular site that I found. I know a lot of them, but a lot. This is in the ESV version of the Bible. So I'm going to read some of these to y'all. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love for you in you. I trust make me know the way I should go for you. I lift up my soul. Also declare like, um, oh gosh, I got the scripture on it. The, the verse on the tip of my tongue y'all i do um oh gosh it's the scripture about my my soul will praise you um oh man i think it's david who said it. it'll come to me anyway here's some more and your ears here's the verse isaiah 30 21 and your ears ears shall hear a word behind you saying this is the way walk in it when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left that scripture has been confirmed over me multiple times just for me going to people and saying please pray for me and they come up with the scripture and that's the scripture i have been declaring over myself already trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on to your own under lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths the heart of man plans his way but the lord establishes his steps Woo. now therefore if i have found favor in your sight please show me now your ways that i may know you in order to find favor in your sight consider too that this nation is your people commit your work oh, i'm not saying the scriptures y'all that was exodus 33 13 commit your work to the lord and your plans will be established that's proverbs 16 3 teach me your way O lord and lead me on a level path because of my enemies psalms 27 11 your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path psalms 119 105 lead me in your truth and teach me for you are the god of my salvation for you i wait all the day long psalms 25 5 make me to know your ways O lord teach me your paths psalms 25 4 
O of David, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantingly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Psalms 25 verse 1 through 5. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, Romans 8 28. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 10. Uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3 and 5. Um, oh, Psalms 23. All of it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness of for his name's sake. Read that. That's Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and make your minds in, in Christ Jesus. Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27 1. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Romans 15:13. And the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire in, in scorched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Isaiah 58, 11. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. That's Psalms 56, 3. Uh, the Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped my heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. Psalms 28, 7. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Romans 12, 12. Be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Being patient about it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also be patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. That's James 5, 7 through 8. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his ways. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong for the Lord upholds his hand. Ooh, Psalms 37, 23 through 24 man y'all it's so many and as i'm reading these scriptures i feel like i'm being filled up i feel the peace coming over me as i read those scriptures so i'm actually going to go back and read them and i'm going to put my name in them but i just wanted to share them crit like just for instance this is how you would do it crystal cast your burden on the lord and he will sustain you he will never permit the righteous to be moved i put it like that that's psalm 55 22 um the steps of crystal are established by the lord when she delights in his way that's psalms 37 23 crystal commits her way to the lord i trust in him and he will act or you say i like that's that's um uh psalms 37 5 so man i feel filled up now and peace over me as i'm even saying that now i just trust god this like because what i'm going through now it's like where's your faith and where's your trust and god really do be testing like to see what you put your trust in and who you put your trust in and what decisions are you going to make and to see if you're going to go and make the same decisions again in the same way all the time. Are you going to respond to the situation in the way that you're supposed to? 
and not react and so that's what I've been doing really just trying to keep my peace in all of this and just know that God got my back because I just want his ways and I want what he wants for me like the plans that he has for me right and so I know I have desires and I'm asking God like Lord I don't want to this is an option these are the options make it known to me which way to go like I'm looking to the left and I'm looking to the right which way should I go should I go here or should I go here like I'm just asking the God who do I ask I'm asking God who do I ask who are the people who do you want me to reach out to what do you need me to do like in this moment um and it's very important that that is done man like in just every area of my life my children like what I'm transitioning to in this season my mindset is to be a follower of Christ no matter what in every area of my life it doesn't matter what it looks like I just want to live righteous I just want to live righteous and not saying I'm going to be perfect but I just want God so much in my life right now like I just want him I want his ways I want intimacy I want him in my life like to lead me like just hold my hand and lead me everywhere I should go and not look at how it looks around me right now because I trust that the Lord is going to do it like I really do like I trusted him before but y'all this type of trust now is like I trust that he really got my back like for real like he really got my back really got my back and I will not I like the fight to not be moved by man the fight to not be moved by like the suggestions people are making to me like I just want that to like immediately be filtered out because I know God is like nope that's not it nope that like just being very sensitive to his voice and so I just wanted to share that I just wanted to share like when you need to make decisions go and find the scriptures about God showing you the way like Google show me the ways Lord scriptures and they will come up and start declaring that over your life.